in the original Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which was completed in 335 AD. This was the side entrance to the church, and the room in which we are now standing used to be outdoors in a large open-air courtyard called the Triportico. The altar on the floor directly in front of you is the Stone of Unction, or the Anointing Stone, marking the traditional spot where Jesus' body was anointed for burial. These are the steps that take you to the top of Mount Golgotha, the place where Jesus died. These stairs are made of marble, and for many centuries, millions of people have walked on them, so much so that the marble has been worn down by their shoes, the shoes of people who come here every day just to touch the spot where Jesus was crucified. Now let's turn back to look at the Stone of Unction on the floor. The original Church of the Holy Sepulchre didn't have a Stone of Unction. In fact, we don't even know where Jesus' body was anointed. Two thousand years ago, the body of Jesus was probably anointed on bare rock or topsoil, since this place was a garden at the time. The Crusaders were the first ones to put a marble slab here in the 12th century, but that was destroyed in the fire of 1808 and the slab that you see here is its replacement. It's almost exactly the same distance from the altar of Calvary as it is from the tomb of Jesus, which is why the Crusaders put it here. This mosaic was built in 1990, and this is called narrative art because it tells a story with three events that occurred on the day that Jesus died, his death, his anointing, and his burial. As you can see, Jesus' cross is on Mount Golgotha, with the skull of Adam buried underneath, which is in accordance with an ancient Jewish tradition that Adam, or at least Adam's skull, was buried right here. On the far right side of the mosaic, you can see the skulls of both Adam and Eve, also in a cave, and under them is the serpent, which is the devil, whose lies, according to Genesis 3.1, tempted them to sin, setting up both their ultimate death and the subsequent reason why Jesus' death on the cross was necessary. And in this scene, you can see Joseph and Nicodemus preparing Jesus' body for burial. Now let's go to the left, where you can see Jesus being carried into his tomb. All three of the events on this mosaic took place within a period of less than three hours, and all of them occurred under the roof of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre.